my name is Mira and I'm a lore keeper at one of Yogg's Libraries and today I wanted to talk about the town of Innsmouth, Massachusetts and its relationship with the Deep Ones of Ejonthle. Innsmouth and Ejonthle appear in the 1931 horror novella The Shadow Over Innsmouth written by H.P. Lovecraft. Innsmouth is a harbor town located in Essex County, Massachusetts that was built in 1643. It is supposed to have been about an hour away from the real-life town of Newburyport. Before the American Revolution began in 1775, the town was renowned for its shipbuilding, and it peaked, as the kids say, right before the War of 1812. The war would see the majority of its sailors sadly killed and thus a dip in trade and population for the town. In 1846, a group of 32 Dagon cultists were arrested, but before anything could be done to them, the Deep Ones rose up and stormed the town in their defense, freeing them and killing any who were involved in their capture. It is said that about half the town's population was culled and that the event was then covered up by the authorities as a plague from China because of course it was. <laughs> After this massacre, only about 300 to 400 people were left living in Innsmouth. The town would continue to decline up until the end of the American Civil War in 1865, when the last of the large vessels ceased docking at the harbor, choosing alternative ports. Sometime between 1865 and 1920, it saw some industrial success. However, by 1927, the town had only one big company left calling it home, the Marsh Refining Company Gold Mill. In 1927, Robert Olmsted, the main character of The Shadow Over Innsmouth, would escape the town and report what he saw to the authorities on the mainland. As a result, federal agents would lay siege to the town during the winter of 1927, demolishing most of its seafront buildings, arresting several members of the Esoteric Order of Dagon, and firing a torpedo into Devil Reef. In 1928, it was reported on the mainland as a prohibition-related confrontation. Because of course. <laughs> Devil Reef is an offshore rock formation about a mile and a half off the coast of Innsmouth that was used in 1838 onward as a meeting place between the Esoteric Order of Dagon and the Deep Ones of Ihonthle. Well, I did a video about the Deep Ones <laughs> and a video about Dagon, so if you want details on what those two things are, you can go and check those out. But here's a brief summary. Dagon is a great one and the god of the Deep Ones, which are a race of humanoid fish-like creatures that live in the depths of the oceans. One such group lives near Devil Reef, off the coast of Innsmouth in a deep trench. This Deep One city is called Ihonthle, and it is one of the many undersea cities that the Deep Ones inhabit. It is described as a cyclopean city of unearthly beauty, with palaces and terraces of coral and phosphorescent lights. The Deep Ones of Ihonthle made a pact with the humans of Innsmouth, ensuring that the humans would always have bountiful catches of fish in exchange for interbreeding with the Deep Ones. The Deep One hybrids would appear human until puberty, when they would start to show signs of aquatic development known as the Innsmouth look, and experience the call of the sea until they finally leave their life on land behind and go to live in Ihonthle. While the torpedo attack in 1927 did damage the city, it was only partially destroyed and it is assumed that the city has been completely rebuilt and the population is flourishing now in modern times. And that is pretty much it. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and an extra special thank you to my channel members. May y'all grant them the knowledge they seek and I hope to see you next time here in the library.